What's going on everybody? I'm Alex from Boards, Bikes, and Hikes, and in today's video, I wanted to talk about two main things I've noticed with the new Burton Step-Ons versus the old Burton Step-Ons. Now, I've had both Burton Step-Ons for a while now. I've gone back and forth. There's been some days I've actually, my buddy has the old pair, I have the new pair, and we swap back and forth between runs. So I've gotten to do a lot of testing between the two, and I wanted to let you know the two biggest differences I've noticed with the new Burton Step-Ons in comparison to the old. First and foremost, the entry getting into the step-on is so much simpler than with the original design. It's not gonna save you, I mean, we're talking minute amounts of time. I would say it's maybe a half a second to a second quicker than the original, but the nice thing about it is you're able to just stomp straight in versus with the older design, you had to click, click, click. And so it's just a much smoother, much more natural motion to get into those step-ons and it's really nice and it's not a huge deal breaker, but it is just, it's one of those things that's nice to have. So definitely easier to get into the new step-ons. Now, as far as getting out of them, that is the exact same. Going back and forth between the two, I honestly can't feel a difference between one being easier than the other to get out of the step-on. So if you're worried or having trouble getting out of the step-ons, the new ones aren't any easier. Again, I think it's just a learned skill. You use it for a day or two and you're gonna get used to the step-ons anyway. Now the second thing I've noticed with the new step-ons is they have 100% fixed the clicking noise that you get a lot of the times when you're riding with the step-ons. I tune it out personally. A lot of times we're hooting and hollering and yelling back and forth and so I don't notice the clicks. However, I will say when going back and forth between the two on back-to-back -back runs, I do notice them and the new ones are just quieter. They don't have that clicking noise that you get whenever your feet are moving within the binding. So if that's something that bugs you or when you're watching your footage and you hear the clicking or just I know some people said that clicking noise is kind of unsettling riding feeling like something in your foot's clicking or your binding is not going to function right or something like that so if that's something that bothers you the new ones definitely do fix that clicking noise so I just wanted to highlight the two areas that I've noticed the biggest difference in the biggest change with the two step-ons do I think the new ones are worth buying or replacing your old ones if you don't necessarily need them no, the only reason honestly I have both pairs is because I wanted one pair for each of my two boards. But if I had if I had just bought the old step-ons, I wouldn't be in a hurry to replace them or upgrade to the new ones. Both are going to work phenomenally for you. I have no complaints about either one. I mean, I've been using my original pair for a year now, issue-free, still love them and they still look and function just as good as day one. So but if you are on the fence about picking up a new pair of step-ons, I can't recommend the new ones enough just because they are a little bit simpler. That ease of getting into them is just, it's really nice. It's like, best way to sum it up. It's just really nice and convenient and it just has a much smoother feel. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions about the Burton step-ons, leave those down in the comments below because I feel like I'm pretty well equipped to answer all of your questions. I've been using them for a year now extremely happy with them and I am a huge supporter of the Burton Step-Ons. I absolutely love the bindings, not just for the convenience factor, they just ride really, really well. I think they give you a much more responsive feel than you get with the traditional strip. So I really love them and I picked them up initially for the convenience factor, but I don't think now, even if I didn't necessarily need that factor, I don't think I'd switch back. I've just grown so used to them, they're comfortable, I like them and it's just an awesome all around bindings. Thank you all for checking out this video. I will leave links in the description of the Burton Step-Ons if you are interested in looking at a pair as well as the boots that I personally use. I use the Photon Wide Boot. Really comfortable boot. Stiff, but once you get it broken in, it's a real nice fit and I've hiked in it, taken kids sledding in it, done walking. Like My feet have never been uncomfortable in them, so I'm really happy with the boots. Thank you guys and I hope you all made it to this far in the video and I'll see you out on the hill sometime soon.